channel master connector installation. So these, these are actually pretty easy to install. Um, the, one of the critical things about this connector or all connectors is you need to make sure that the, the coaxial cable is prepared correctly um, using a, a coax stripper. So we'll use this stripper here. Once it gets kind of loose, then you can pull that off and you will see the braids here. The, the trick is to pull the braids back. So if you do not pull the braid back, it's gonna make it really difficult to push on a connector. Um, this connector, the Channel Master connector, is pretty great because it actually fits standard shield coax all the way through quad shield. That's why we call it a universal connector. It fits uh, all the types of cable. Now, as you get, as you get up to quad shield cable, this connector, um, it'll become more, you know, it'll become harder to put on the connector because the uh, the jack and everything gets gets a little bit wider and, and thicker with the cable. So that's when it's going to become really, really critical. If you're you're preparing quad chill cable, you need to make sure that you get all the braids pulled back and um, to make it easier on your connector insertion. So as you'll see inside the connector, there's a circle inside there. The dielectric material, which is a foam material, will slide inside of that. And usually what I, I tell people to do is basically put the center conductor in first and then easily just make sure it seats on there. So that wasn't very hard at all. I did it with two fingers. It sat on the dielectric material. Now that it's over the dielectric material, now you can actually get your whole hand and push a little more force onto it and turn while you're pushing. And you want that dielectric material to be flush with the, uh, the, the top part of that connector right there. So pretty easy, went on pretty, pretty easy. Once that's done, you will actually put the connector inside the tool. You can hold it with one thumb there. And then you will see these are the two compression rings. That's what it will collapse and hold the connector on the cable. So we'll go one, two, and your cable's done. Now, if some uh, cable preparation, preparation tools have a stopper that will actually stop the uh, center conductor. But if you end up getting your center conductor too long, not a problem. You can easily just trim it once once it's built. There's your connector.